Hello and uh, welcome back to a new episode of the Fluke Friday. It is uh, episode 20 and in the Fluke Friday I show every time another series from uh, Fluke. I started with the lower numbers and went all the way up. So we arrived somewhere around the 2000 series which are uh, temperature meters. But I found another meter so I'm just doing another one in between. What I found was a multimeter and then it's called the 81438 and I had no clue because this numbering is completely different from any other multimeter from then I have seen. So I thought this would be interesting to see. Little disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Fluke. These and these items are not original but I made this for the purpose of this video because I'm a fan and of course because of the copyright it will not be for sale. Here it is, the 81438. i never seen one before. I was also not necessarily the one who found it. I was actually uh, notified uh, by a fellow flu collector and he said, look at this number. This is so weird. First I thought maybe it is uh, from China, only made for China. Later I find out it is sold in the Sears website. And uh, yeah, I don't know if Lucas made it for them specially. Well, it's just a normal multimeter, 9 volt batteries, clamp in the back. Not that special in a sense. If you are familiar with the Fluke series, you might think, wait, it looks a little bit like the 110 series. And I have one here. So here is the 110. And I must say, they look very, very familiar, only we don't have the M setting here. But from this 110, there is also a 111. Now look at this. Here they are side by side. I don't see immediately the difference. Yeah, well, the yellow casing is a little bit different, but that is just the outside, we can take them out. But if we look at the functions of voltage and hertz, voltage and hertz, continuity, ohms, diet, caps, amps, frequency, amps, frequency, it looks exactly the same. Well, if we can't find the difference from the outside, of course we need to have a look inside. But first let me take them out of the, the casings. We can just uh, push them out probably. I'm not sure if you need to do the bottom first or the top. I think the bottom, it opens like this. So let's look again. Uh, we need to take some stickers off. And to me this looks exactly the same. Let's see if we find some numbers different here and there. So I took the microscope because the letters are a little bit too small. But I'm looking at the back now. And on the 111 we actually see it mentions the 111 because of the amp rating. Yes of course because the 110 doesn't have amps. And here if we look at the patents we have two patents here. 251.867 ending and then if we get the 81 we have here an extra patent that is the this one and in the top here there is no mention of the 111 and the 112 so they made a different back for this one and another difference, I didn't spot it at first, it was actually, again, my uh, fellow flu collector. He took a look at the pictures and I just completely overlooked it. One is rating 300 volts while the other one is rated 600 volts. Look at it, both on the microscope, I put them uh, back to back and we can see clearly the 81 and the 111. 
I'm going to test later if the agarys are, are about the same and uh, maybe if you push on certain buttons longer there is a little difference first I like to open them and see if we can actually find something that uh, could see why the rating would be different if it's just a, a certification matter or if it's actually different from the inside. At the first glance it really looks exactly the same aside from the fuse that is used. Um, but they are about 1000 volts, it's just a different brand. So the 81000 is uh, still on the right. And um, yeah, maybe we can see on the components a difference in date. Or maybe a revision on one of the boards. But at the first glance, yeah, it to me it looks exactly the same. And it is about a, a rating that is different, so then you would expect the input circuit to look different. But that is exactly the thing that looks the same. Looking at the date codes of the chips, the 111 is actually older. And I would have expected it to be newer because it had a higher rating. Because on these chips I all see uh, 03, so probably 2003. While on this one I see 04 and even 05. So that means that this 1800 is probably newer. But I found some code on top of the PCB. It's hard to see because the buzzer is on top. But I will try to look from all sides and write it down. And the PCB looks the same. I did not find any difference in the number of the PCB. The PCB numbers are the same, only the follow-up number. I don't know what it is. It is in this box that is different here in the square. And uh, that's the only difference. But the number then from the 111 seems higher than from the 81,000. Uh, but the components are newer on this board. That's a little bit weird, but I will just open a lot more to see from the other side. Okay, we continue to open more. And But if it is so much the same, then I think, why would I have done one rated 300 and one rated 600? And well, if it was an older device like this one, this is the 7 series. It's the 7 600, but there is also a 7 300. But this is an older meter, so to me then it would maybe make sense that they first uh, certify it for 300 volts and then later thought, oh, okay, the, it improved slowly. We can also do a 600 series because internal they also almost look the same. But these meters are later. And then I think, why would they have done that? Then Maybe uh, someone made a mistake and certified it for 300 and then they thought, oh, let's sell it in uh, Sears and then uh, we do a proper one for 600 volts. Or it is just a marketing thingy that they just thought, okay, somehow we need to justify it's cheaper on Sears. Then uh, we just rate it for 300. I don't know. It's weird. But uh, let's open first some more. Oh, they are tight. You need a very good fit screwdriver, otherwise you will kill your screws. Okay, this is a better fit. No, this is my best fit. No, there it goes. Okay, and there are four screws here that probably hold the display. And if it is a little bit similar to the, uh, what series was that, the 10, 11, and the 12, then it probably just goes by lifting the board from its side. And it does indeed. Okay, the switch. Hopefully the screws can also go. 
Ah, ja, die is zo beter. Order has been opened before already. Order screws in the 300 volt series are just less tight. Then we found the difference. <laughs> Is this loose? This is loose. Let me carefully. Here we are. The inside is also different a little bit. Different switch. I don't see a difference at all. And uh, even if we look closer, we see on both here that uh, they have here the copyright Fluke 2000 and this one also. And again, that number of the board is exactly the same. This uh, 11X3000 1010 on both is the same. So now they are open. Of course, I'm going to clean them. I will not open it more because the display does not have any problems and it looks like new to be honest. So I will leave that as it is because it has very tiny screws and maybe I damaged the zebra. So if it's not needed, I don't do that. And the contacts are clean. They both look like super new. So that will only be working on the outside. I hope I didn't mix too much of the parts and uh, I will just put a little time lapse. I actually found something interesting. Now I opened it and uh, I look at the keypad. There is one extra key, a round one in the bottom. And if you are familiar familiar with the 110 series, there is this 112 and the only difference between the 111 and the 112 is the backlight and the keypad has it. It is only, it is even connected. So probably if you drill a little hole and you push, then you will have your backlight. So I will just push it on the PCB and let's see if it uh, works. Of course, I'm not going to drill holes to push it in, but just to see if it works. So that means that there is only one series in this uh, all that I know of from the 81,000 and it doesn't have backlight. So let's see. So I'm not sure what will happen if I switch it on without the switch on top. I need to be careful. Probably it's this way around because the battery is like this. So when I should be connected, then yeah, it doesn't switch on, of course. Yeah, so then I actually probably need the front of a 112 to test this because it will not switch on now and I do not have a loose uh, switch but this is usually the light button So after the cleaning, they look a lot, lot better. I took a lot of time polishing the displays because it was full of scratches and well, you can't really see the difference. This is always a great feeling after this cleaning. And well, let's see how they are. Okay, let's see how they are. We both connect them. Them. Oh 
Okay, let's start with uh, 100 millivolts. Do they both agree? Absolutely. Let's go to 150. Even they respond just as fast. Oh, six, six. <laughs> Okay, for the current, 100 milliamps. Agreed. Quickly get the DMM check plus. Just to see, it's on DC, it's power on. So we should have exactly five. 4994. This one five. It's calibrated a little bit better. This one. What about AC? AC. AC. Look through RMS. Otherwise, would have been 5.5. Can we see the frequency? Yeah, 100 hertz. Can we do also 10k? It can display the frequency, but the voltage, of course, it's too high. That is a normal. Uh, See here, it is 10k. Now it is in 100 hertz, it is a little bit closer, and the frequency here is spot on. Continuity beeper works. Do we have a beeper here? There is a sign of a buzzer. Yeah, even sounds the same. Oh, we did see one when we were looking in the board. Quickly, the 1%, 100k, 100.3. Now we can switch them quickly. 100.3, 10k, 10.01. Then now two. The one K should be spot spot on. It is Yeah, and we have one hundred and I think it was hundred in a bit. Yeah. Okay. We have caps. One I know. It says one. It says one. Ten. 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 One hundred. And one micro. They usually takes a little bit. And here we have it. So that was it. Tested also. They are the same. And the 81438, the 300 volt version of the 111. Why they did that? Because technically in the inside they are also exactly the same. They are uh, perfectly good now to go back into my collection if you know why they did this then please leave it in the comments because i would be very interested to know thank you for watching and hope to see you next time